are going to discuss about the continuation of what we learned in the previous session. In the previous session, we discussed about karyokinesis and its different phases. Let us have a quick recap of it. Mitosis has following steps, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. During prophase, chromatin reticulum condenses to form chromosomes, nuclear membrane and nucleolus disappears and spindle fibers are formed. During metaphase, chromosomes are aligned linearly at the center of the cell. During anaphase, chromosomes split at the region of the centromere and move towards opposite poles. During telophase, the daughter chromosome clusters together to form chromatin reticulum. When karyokinesis gets completed, two daughter nuclei are formed in the mother cell. Did the existing cell has changed into two daughter cells? No. Karyokinesis is followed by division of cytoplasm. That is cytokinesis. Cell cycle gets completed only after the division of cytoplasm. The division of nucleus is almost similar in plant cells and animal cells. Let us examine the differences between the division of cytoplasm in plant cells and animal cells. The division of cytoplasm in animal cell and plant cell is entirely different. This is due to the presence of cell wall in the plant cell. In animal cell, a furrow is formed in the plasma membrane at the center of the cell. The furrow extends and joins at the center of the cell, dividing the cytoplasm into two and two daughter cells are formed. In plant cell, small vesicles are formed between the daughter nuclei. Small vesicles combine together to form a cell plate. The cell plate extends to two sides and joins with plasma membrane. Later, cellulose gets deposited on the cell plate and the cell wall is formed. Now the cell division is completed. The daughter cells formed as a result of cell division grow and divide further. Now let us see the characteristics of mitosis. Mitosis is a controlled process. It helps in the growth of the body. It makes repairs of worn out and torn out tissues. There will be no change in the chromosome number even if the cell divides several times. Do you know why there is no change in the chromosome number even if the cell divides several times? It is because before every division the genetic material gets duplicated. I'll explain once again. Suppose there are two chromosomes in parent cell. During interphase, the genetic material duplicates. So, an exact copy of it is formed and pairs. During anaphase, they get separated and move towards opposite poles. I hope it is clear for you. As I told you earlier, mitosis is a controlled process. A disruption in this controlled process can lead to excessive division of cell. This condition can lead to cancer. Now let us discuss the steps involved in observing the different stages of mitosis in an onion root tip. The aim of the experiment is to observe the different stages of mitosis in onion root tip. The materials required are 
ബീക്കർ വൺ നോർമൽ എച്ച് സി എൽ ബ്ലേഡ് ഗ്ലാസ് ലൈറ്റ് കവർ ഗ്ലാസ് എസെറ്റോ കാർമൈൻ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ലാമ്പ് ഫോസെപ്സ് നീഡിൽ വാച്ച് ഗ്ലാസ് ഓർ പെട്രി ഡിഷ് ദെൻ വിൽ മൂവ് ഓൺ ടു പ്രൊസീജിയർ പ്ലേസ് ആൻ ഓണിയൻ ഇൻ എ വെറ്റ് ക്ലോത്ത് so that it germinates and water it for 2 days when the root grows about 3 to 4 cm it is time to do our practicals cut the roots carefully and wash it in pure water best time to cut the root is from 8 am to 10 am and place that in a petri dish or watch glass transfer the roots into a beaker containing one normal hcl heat the beaker till the roots get softened wash the roots with fresh water for 3 or 4 times place the root on a glass slide and cut it into small pieces of about 1 mm add aceto carmine again heat the glass slide so that the root get easily stained place a cover glass over the root specimen and gently press it using a pen or pencil remove the excess water or stain using blotting paper observe under microscope now you can see the images of different stages of mitosis under a microscope using 40x lens and 100x lens hope it is clear for you